In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a sun flare background here in Coral Draw. It's very simple and very very easy to do. So without waiting further ado, let's begin. So first of all, you head on to our toolbar section, this area here, and we'll select the rectangle tool. Alright, so um, we'll draw a rectangle or we'll draw the shape here. Then I'm okay with the size and the width. Alright. So um, you head on to your toolbar section again and you select the shape tool, you select it. So um, but before then you have to convert this shape to a curve. Alright, so to do so, control Q. Another way to do it, let's undo that control Z. Just right click, then you convert to curve. So whichever one works for you. So we've converted it to a curve, so I can edit it to our own taste. So um, you select the shape tool, all right. Then you hold Control and you drag this to the middle. Yes, all right. So you drag this again to the middle. All right. Okay. If you notice on my screen, you see all these guidelines, and when I move a shape, it shows me if it's the middle or all of that. So um. They are called guides so i have a video in the description below on how to set that up so you can check it out so that um it will help speed up your workflow and make your workflow very easy so we're okay with this all right so i can drag this here whole control to maintain balance all right so this is what we're working with so you, you select the shape we just converted to this then you click on it again then you notice that the nodes change these are the nodes and you drag it to this area here to the top all right so um this is what we'll do now you drag this you can hold control to maintain balance so this is okay then right click to create a duplicate then control r to repeat then we're good to go yes this is it so you highlight everything control g then p to free to join page yes so before that um you have to make sure um, the place you want to place the these shapes you created is ready. So you double click on um, the rectangle tool. So you assume the shape of the drawing um, page, then you give it a color. But before that, let's power clip this inside. I have a video in the description below on how to power clip as well. You can check it out. So right click and you power clip inside of this area here. Right, so we we'll enter our power clip. So we we'll give this a white color. So we can't see this now. So we right click and you drag until it exceeds the drawing page here. So once you're done, you can just hold control and exit the power clip. I also have a video in the description below on how to exit the power clip. So you can check it out. So you can also hold control to um, shift to reduce the size of the shape uniformly. So this is it. Alright, so you hold control or you want so you just click here. Alright, so you can't see anything because um the shape inside is white. So we give it a color, let's say yellow. So yes, we've created this. I believe you might see something like this on the internet. So you can give it this orange as well. Or um this. So whichever one, whichever color works for you. You can also add um, like a color here, like a fading color, if that's the right word. Also, um, another way to go about this again is um, to be creative with it. So it did this. So let's reduce the opacity of this. That is the transparency. And let's say 85 would do. And hit on enter. Yes. And you exit the power clip. Right, so but this time let's use um yellow yeah so we've actually gotten this so another way to do it let's use um orange then you can actually add um an interactive fill here so you drag this so um this is not nice so we we'll come to your property bar here when you come to this area you have ellipse fountain fill yes I drag it but this white doesn't look nice for me so we change the color so you drag in this yellow just come to your document palette the document palette 
then you drag it into this area where you have the white and then we complement with it then you drag and here we go our background our sun fair background will normally download on the internet you can actually create it here on coral draw not only on coral draw you can also use other software as well once you follow these processes and you're good with the software you can achieve this or even better either with coral draw or any other software you use all right so um these are the ones i've created before yeah i've created this so done different colors the yellow as well and um i also tried it on design as well i'll be attaching the link to the design i tried i tried it on you can check it out on my instagram all right guys i'm that is how to create a sun flare background here in coral draw it's very simple and very very easy to do all right guys um if you find this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos and don't forget to like these videos share it to those who might find it helpful and don't forget to comment your thoughts thank you for watching and um see you on the next video tutorial